In this video, I share five different styles of writing in buttercream, starting right now. I'm using buttercream and oil-based food coloring by Color Mill in the color Rust. I've stirred it into my buttercream completely and made sure that the icing is smooth with a medium thin consistency. Make sure that the icing isn't too thick or too thin. To create our different writing styles, I'll be using a number three tip, a number 48 tip, and a number 18 tip. To pipe all these different writing styles, I'll need to first fit my decorating bag with a coupler. This little tool allows me to switch decorating tips on a single bag, like this. Next, I'll fill my decorating bag with icing. I've listed the tip numbers and other supplies used throughout this video in the description below. Once the bag is filled, I squeeze some icing out of the bag through the tip to release any additional air bubbles. I'll be piping the phrase, happy birthday, five different ways onto parchment paper. The first writing style is a simple print. This is created using the number three decorating tip. Printing is done by holding the piping bag at a 45 degree angle, with the end of the bag facing your body for vertical lines, and with the end of the bag facing the right for horizontal lines. If you're left-handed, you can try this with the end of the bag facing left if it's more comfortable. When you have angled lines, rotate your hand and piping bag slightly to that angle to create the line. Here's what it looks like from another angle. A tip for piping rounded shapes like the letters S, O, R, B, D, in this case the letter P, after piping the vertical line, I adjust my hand so that the tip is at a 90 degree angle to the surface, completely vertical. Then I start piping with my tip up and away from the surface like this. Doing so allows me to anticipate where the icing will fall and I have more control over where the icing lands. Next, I pipe the word birthday using the same techniques. Again, make sure that your icing is thin enough to flow easily from the number three decorating tip, but make sure that your icing isn't runny or watery. The next writing style is cursive writing. I'm continuing with the number three decorating tip and I'll be holding my bag at a 90 degree angle, again, completely vertical to the surface. Also, notice that my decorating tip hovers slightly above my surface. Try to avoid dragging the tip along the surface of the parchment paper. Keeping the tip elevated helps me to anticipate where the icing falls, as cursive writing is made up of mostly curves. Writing in cursive with buttercream is a lot like writing in cursive with a pen, pencil, or stylus. You'll want to pipe each word continuously, then go back and cross the T's and dot the I's at the end. The next writing style is brush cursive. I start by writing happy birthday onto the parchment paper quite large. And you'll see why in a bit. This writing style requires extra space between the individual letters. Next, I pipe an additional line next to any part of a letter where there are down strokes. For example, on the letter H, the letter A, the letter B, the long straight parts of the letter Y. I 
I do the same for the letters in the word birthday. The final step of brush cursive is to fill in the outlines with dimensional piping. Do this by holding the tip closest to the top of the outline. Squeeze the bag, allowing the icing to build up around the tip. Then move the bag in a down direction while squeezing and keeping the tip buried in the icing. Finish by crossing the T's and dotting the I's. And here's what brush cursive looks like when complete. Compared to cursive writing, it's much more dimensional. The next style is block print. This style is created with piping tip number 48. Holding the bag at a 45 degree angle, as I did with the simple print style, I piped the word happy. I keep the tip flat while piping letters with rounded parts, like the letters P, B, R, and D. The next writing style is star print. I'm using decorating tip number 18 and holding the bag at a 90 degree angle to the surface, again completely vertical. I begin to pipe small stars to form the letters. Touching the surface, squeeze with light even pressure while keeping the tip pointed down. I stop completely and then lift up and repeat the process. To keep the letters nice and neat, try piping the stars in lines with odd numbers of stars. Here I pipe five stars for each side of the letter H. This gives me a center star to help me keep my horizontal lines in order. Do this on horizontal lines to keep vertical lines straight as well. Which writing style was your favorite? Comment below and let us know which style you can't wait to try on your next cake. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. A special thank you to all of my channel members and to you, thanks for watching.